So UFO Aftermath, I describe it as a little bit of like an XCOM-like type game, but with a bit of a Jagged Alliance feel to it because of how the gameplay is. The idea is that it's like a real-time game and you pause and you can make decisions. All the actions that I do, they all get queued up and everything like that, so it, you can also like plan out everything, like how I'll do to move up there and then you'll then shoot, and it, it'll do that, so it, it queues the, the stuff up. So you can play it kind of both ways. I'm going to be playing it a bit both ways but generally taking it a little bit slowly because this game it has moments where it seems really really easy but then it'll just completely wreck you out of nowhere it will just destroy you without realizing like everything can just go so wrong so quickly there's a couple cases where it's just plain simple unfair that you can kind of sort of prepare for but you're gonna lose somebody one of them notably being a, a self-exploding monster that's just hanging out behind a door. You don't know what's there, and you open the door, it blows up immediately. There's nothing you can do, and it will one-shot you for a large portion of the game. There's nothing you can do about it. The best you can do is just lose that one person. Sometimes, some bullshit might happen that might result in me reloading. But I'm generally going to be going with Iron Man rules. If a mission goes tits up and we have to abort, then it goes tits up and we have to abort. That's how it is. Okay, so we'll see we'll see how the naming goes when we get in there. Some of these probably won't fit, but we'll see. No, not play, goddammit. Games. Stream. Game difficulty. Normal. Although easy is honestly a little bit tempting. Hard? Not as hard as you would think at the start, but when th when the first arc happens, hard becomes kind of bullshit. It, it gets tough fast. <laughs> and starting position doesn't hugely matter. The first, like, progression mission that we get is in America. The next progression mission is over in, like, Eastern Europe. So... Sort of doesn't matter too much. Europe is quite okay because there's a lot of potential base locations around in a nearby vicinity. You'll see when we get there. America... Kinda, sorta, but expanding over to Europe eventually gets a little problematic. Asia's... Okay, like, I think we just go with Europe. Just kind of in the middle of everything. Getting over to Asia is easy enough. Getting over to America is somewhat easy enough. That'll be it, I think. And yeah, just normal. New game. Okay, so yeah, now we're on the stream game. And it's reset the stuff. Okay, I thought it might do the... I thought it might. Fine. 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 Yeah, right about there. Uh, hostile spotted. Uh, I guess for the moment I can leave that on, but I'll take it off probably. I suppose if you have no orders, don't, don't do either of that. If you're out of ammo, maybe pause. If you can't attack, just don't. Action impossible, also just don't. You can tell me about it though, I guess that's fine. Combat info and need up plans, that's okay. Shadows, highlights, rotate camera? Director's cut, sure, I guess. Not entirely sure what that is exactly. And for that, we'll see. We'll customize that as time goes on, no doubt. Play. Tutorial? Yes. Yes, I will. Annoyingly, if you don't do the tutorial, you still get the same amount of people to start, but they're one level lower because they level up in the tutorial mission. So, should always should always do the tutorial. And it'll be nice to sort of remember some of the buttons because it's been a few weeks since I last played this. And uh, yes, the sir. controls aren't super duper great. I think I got to use the arrow. Okay, this, this game is why... Why I really needed to buy a different mic stand, because I have to use the arrow keys, and arrow key and mouse together, the way my mic was previously, super duper didn't work. So, we'll take a minute to get used to how this goes. 
In the aftermath of the alien attack, only a handful of people survived. By hiding in bunkers and sealed bases or by freak accident, Malcolm McLean is one such, sur such survivor. Armed with his old Colt and a handgun, he picks his way across a once familiar city that is now littered with the remains of the dead and inhabited by strange monsters called transgenants or transgenants. Transgenants, so let's be honest. Morning, Valkyrie. Your job is to guide him to the other side of town, area outlined in green. Some camera controls, giving order things, right. So, the game. Right, the mouse wheel is inverted. That's, that's a thing. The game can pause and resume and all sorts of different speed controls there. We can kneel down and have people walk and, and all sorts of stuff. Everything that we queue up here, it, it literally just queues by default. That's how it is. If, if there's a target to aim at, I can click it during this and it'll queue it up. Like here's an enemy here. It has paused it for us. So like I've already got all these movement commands and if I were to then say attack the dangle fly, he'll throw a fit because he doesn't quite reach. That's fine. We've told him to move and then he'll attack and this is... This is taking into account there the number at the bottom there with the parentheses is taking into account the chance to hit based on where he is ending up at the very end. So that, that takes a bit of time to get used to, but we'll get through it. Cancel last order or all orders, that'll be fine. Let us. Let's be super technical about it, okay? We'll move up around the cow. And then we'll... We'll take a knee. And then we'll get him. Only 11%, but it's probably gonna move. And then we'll speed up. This thing doesn't really have an attack. It's literally just... Well... I don't know how to describe that. I think we get a better image of it later on when we find one during normal combat. Blam. And it's flying. A mere 1200 hit points because shotguns are disgusting in this game. A, a Toyota Estima minivan right there too. Yeah, this thing. Looks gross. It looks really dirty. Good job, Malcolm. Good kill. A fine kill. Mm. I don't think it had any... Yeah, no, no, no loot there. Inventory screen. Um, not a whole lot to really look at here for now. We'll be right back into the screen though later on. We'll say done. Gotta be careful of the edge scroll, it's gonna be getting me a lot. By default, we run. It's fast, but noisy. There is a noise system in the game to a degree. Uh, if we walk, our observation skills increase. So for some of the more open maps, it'll be a really handy thing to have. All done, sir. And we spotted another human. They're on the ground bleeding out. It's Brian. Brian, the TTS guy. Oh, no. Oh, my God, I get it. Holy shit. Ready. He is hurt, so let's equip a med kit. Say done, and then let that play out because even inventory switching is cued actions. And now we have the med kit on. So I can say. Attack him with the med kit. Beautiful. Our medical skills. Not really that great. What is your medical skill, actually? Good. Oh, okay. It seemed kind of bad. What a strange Malcolm McLean this is. I'll take it. And Brian? Eh, kind of a kind of a scout. Awful with launchers. Awful strength. Oh god, Brian. He's already, like, kind of sort of almost overburdened, just holding a gun, ammo, a couple grenades, no armor or anything. He doesn't even have armor on. Dude's gonna have to lift some soup cans when we get back to base. Holy shit, Brian Rowley. You are fucking terrible. Alright. Uh, Malcolm, you can put on the shotgun. Again. Yes, and then sir. Brian with the Uzi thing. Yeah, sure. The Uzi has different firing modes. We can go for a burst fire, or the aim shot. I'll leave it at aim shot for now. Because there's no reason to not. 
And jag him. I gotta at some point get new sub sounds for this game. Jag him. Ten months. Thank you very much. Welcome. Hello. All done, sir. Ready, sir. Is this? Are you armed? It looks armed. I think it's got a pistol. Yes, sir. So we could go around it, but I'm gonna go Ready, ahead and just like Ready. run my face towards it. Order, sir. With both people? I'll have you walk up a little bit and take some pot shots with the with the aimed shot there. Ready. But generally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm go, in. Malcolm, go! Ready. And then blast him. It's Very ready. dangerous and suicidal, I but I don't quite care. <laughs> well done, Malcolm. Do that up and then get you up over here. When you get up over there, I need a grenade out. Yes, because sir. we're going to blow open the door. Because I don't think you can just open it. I think this Ready. wants you to blow it open. So to show off some of the uh, destructive qualities. Did Brian shoot Malcolm in the back? No, thankfully there's no friendly fire for ballistic weapons. Grenades and such, absolutely there is friendly fire. And super duper, yes, that can happen. What now, sir? I want you to attack All done, sir. the door. Is it right click? It's right click. Hey! Because you have a terrible ready. throwing skill, it kind of almost missed, but it works out. It's a big target. You wonder if it'd be easier out. binding these to something. Maybe like the numpad buttons or so. We'll have to see. We'll play around with it a little bit. But yeah, no friendly fire. We just have, I think, literally no armor. And the pistol that it had might have actually been a kind of sort of decent pistol. Be a little bit surprising, actually, because typically the weapons that they have aren't the weapons that you can start with. They're usually something different. That might even always be different, actually. And the starting pistol that we get is really good. The other pistols kind of all suck. Not sure. We'll see. Um, Soldier wounded. Won't have to recuperate in the sickbay, though. He's all fine. We managed to kill two. Incapacitated nothing. We got six rated experience, and two of them are ready for a level. Went basically perfectly. So now we get to choose whether they increase their physical attribute or mental attributes, and then depending on what we choose here, will affect how their skills are as time goes on. There are also, at some point, training regimens that we can put people into to increase their skills as well. If I were smart, I would have memorized those. But for the most part, you gotta have, like, at least average of everything, and then maybe like very good of one thing. And that'll uh, that'll take care of you. I'm going to go ahead and improve the willpower though, because your willpower is awful. And we're going to need a bit of that for psi power down the road. It's, it's good to have a bit of psi power. There's this very specific enemy type that we fight kind of early on that will absolutely kind of single-handedly decimate the entire squad if we don't have good psi power. There is also the other skills here, Aliens Medical Capacity. Those are a bit straightforward. Aliens though is a little bit more of just like a generic whatever type thing. It says hit chance, but I think it also affects damage that you deal. It's, it's always a nice thing to dump points into down the road once you've got decent combat skills. I'm definitely going to be getting your strength up though because holy shit. I can't have you not being able to carry soup cans. Because if I put armor on you, you're already going to be overburdened. And here we are. The Geoscape. Time's currently paused. We have two bases to start with. They have different symbols because they're a different type of base. You are a military base. Military bases are where we set off with our helicopter from. They also have strike craft when it comes down to shooting UFOs. They'll be leaving the military bases. Having multiple military bases is always cool because it's an easier way to get from mission to mission. Because these are both areas that you go like from a base to the mission, and also a place where you come back to restock. 
And then we have an engineering base, which I think I actually want to have as a research base currently. Because there are two types of research. There's research research, and then there's development research. But research research... Oh no, I do want to research research. While I don't fall, or UFO detection. Uh, I think Twilight and Fall is the one I wanted first. Most of the human race is gone. Unprecedented destruction has been wrought upon the planet. We must ask ourselves what happened, why it happened, and where we can go from here. Yes, we'll do that. It'll take four days, 23 hours, which is a, a pretty good long while, but I will want you to be a research base then. Not... Oh no, yeah, research, not... Not engineering, which you currently are. Okay, yeah, no, we're, we're good here. That's fine. Um, so yeah, that's that's a two. That's basically research and kind of sort of manufacturing as well. But manufacturing, this is a little bit different than you would expect. For the most of the stuff that we have in the game, there are limited supply. But to start with our equipment, we have infinite of. If, if I want to have just 100 pistols on it, dude, I can do that. There's no limit to this, and it's ammo, same deal. But it, that's just the basic stuff. We'll be getting, eventually, later on, weapons from aliens that we kill and, and all that, and that, that will be limited. There is a shotgun that we've got. No heavy weapons. Other, we have grenades, medkits, and flares. And then armor. We have infinite of all this stuff. So, like, armor, I'd like to have proper armor and helmets for everybody, ideally. This is just clothing that's basically no armor. Well, 20% hard resistance. Nothing against soft, though. This is 35% soft. 15% universal, not against hard, though. But I don't think we fight anything that does hard damage. At least not for, not for a little while. It's like this is, you know, soft damage, universal damage, soft damage, yeah. The hard will be like sniper rifles and stuff, I think. Why is everything rotating so fast? Uh, I'm not sure. With like everything paused, you mean? And like all that? I don't know. What do I want you to have? The shotgun counts as a rifle. Rifle skill. So you're you're kind of okay with that. Yeah, I might keep it. I might keep it. Brian, you're more of a handgun guy. You've got the Uzi. Uzi counts as a handgun. I will take that off though. I'll give you a pistol. And a bit of ammo. Yeah, you can do medic training, sniper training. Okay. This is this is the like the one of the major ways to improve a basic dude is through the training. You can only do each training well, you can technically do it multiple times, but the improvements that you get you can only get them once. So like the rifles plus one. If we get it through soldier training, we won't be able to get it through sniper training, and vice versa. So you can't just have a dude turn into a super soldier just through training. Why is the backpack guy kind of scary face? A fine question. A very fine question. Enjoy not ever being able to unsee that, though. Um, Yeah, no, I'm okay with the pistol. I'm fine with it. It's got a burst fire. Technically, it's mostly just like shoot quicker. It's not as cool as like the Uzi's burst fire, but the pistol at least has a decent range compared to the Uzi. I think I prefer that. And the pistol is one handed. It should be noted, though, that if I have something in my offhand, I don't think you can do the burst fire anymore. Or you can only do burst fire. I think that's it. You can only do the burst fire if you have something in your offhand. So there's that. But already... Already you're overburdened, so your speed is suffering a bit. Medkits are very heavy. I guess for now, no medkit. But definitely grenades, even though you suck with grenades. Have it anyway. Shotguns. 
a grenade, maybe. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, you know what? Fine, we'll just be slow. We'll just be slow. We'll overburden them. Their movement speed will be poor, and that's fine. That's just how it is. I don't mind. I mind a little bit. Alexander, what are you like? We'll get these guys named up in a second. Rifles, handguns, good with launchers and throwing, so you'd be a good grenadier. Good speed. Awful observation, though. The dude's blind. Completely blind. Hmm. A bit of a grenadier, I guess. Um... I guess. I mean, having, like, an honest-to-god just grenadier dude, it's not a bad thing. Their grenades are really good early on. Equipment is infinite. This is this is all infinite. You'll know if there's a limited amount, but later on there will be limited amount stuff through items that we get from the enemies, and also when we capture a base, we find a, a cache of stuff. We only get so much of that. I th think down the road we manufacture stuff, like, really quickly. So it's not much of an issue there, but, uh, yeah, so like a bit of both, I guess, is the best answer. I'm going to give you a pistol. I feel weird not giving you a, like, a gun. Just a bit of ammo. I'll probably have you mostly grenade stuff. And <sighs> poor speed, average speed, good speed. God help us. However, I'm going to throw people into training after I rename them. Get Malcolm named up. Zarandal, welcome. Zarandal, yeah. Yeah, it's by it's by space, not not character count. Oh, Zarandal, not Zarandal. My bad. Zarandal. Okay. And Brian, we're renaming as well. It's Rhino Man. Rhino Man just fits. And Alexander is Cav. Cav 2K. All right. Training. Um. I'd like one dude to not be in training, just in case we get a mission. But training doesn't also, it doesn't take very long, it's just like a day and a half, I think. What do I want first, sniper or medic? Probably medic, because your speed's not great because your strength sucks. We'll do that, it'll give you a bit of speed, a bit of dodge, give you a point in aliens, a point in medical. The requirements, dexterity and intelligence as such. I think for the most part, though, it's just like have everything average and you can do soldier for the physical stuff. Good strength dexterity for Grenadier. And then we start getting into the mix of stuff. All right. If I wanted a go to training for everybody. Scientist wouldn't be too bad to get very good intelligence and good perception, though. Might be something to keep in mind. Uh, but you were out for one day, 12 hours, so yeah, like a day and a half. That's okay, we can throw everybody into training then. No problem. And then r and is going on, Twilight and Fall. Okay, cool. New recruit, but I already got him, that was Alexander. And we're okay to sit and wait. New mission available near Berlin. Stop time. Increased hostile presence in our territory. As we prepare our counterattack, we must gather information on the nature of the threat. This is... I think just like go in and kill them. Can only have seven people. That's just the upper limit for all the missions. You can only ever have seven. We know where it is. We know what the terrain is like. We know what the vegetation is like, I guess. I don't really know if that tells you. Nope, never mind. I know what the vegetation is for. Don't answer that. It's nothing we have to worry about for now, though. Estimated impact, how much it's likely to advance our cause, basically. In urgency, I believe, 
is how much time we have left to do that. Low urgency means that we can sit and wait for a little while and just not bother with it. So indeed, I will be doing that. I can also delegate it and have other people do it for me. If uh, the mission spam gets to be too much, you just delegate it, have somebody else do it. There's a chance that they fail it, depending on what the mission is. But early on, there's a research that we can get that makes delegations significantly more likely to work. And then, uh, way the, way the fuck up there, huh? Way up there. All right. Profound impact. Huge thing. Yeah, secure the area, eliminate the opposition. So when we do this, because it's profound impact, there's a pretty good chance that the next mission we get in that area would be then uh, getting it under our control. We'll let that sit. I might delegate this one then, if that's the case. And then near BRNO? Where the f is that? Burno. No. Yeah, that's also another profound thing. And then Cairo. A lot of missions. This is like a really far away one, though. What the hell? Why are these so far away? A recon way out there. That I'm delegating. I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah, that's the thing to do at some point, too. All right. How much time do we got on dudes? My God. One day, two, well, it's not even been a whole day. Holy shit. Media emergency on this first one, though. No? Lagos, carry on. I'll take a look later on. Can't do it any way. And they recruit again. Our fourth guy, Wolfgang. He's, uh... Poor, poor, and good. This is how you get people, by the way. They just kind of show up, and they just happen. He's not terrible, but he's pretty bad. Pretty fucking bad. Who gets who gets this guy? <laughs> uh, Danny Danny Eldon. Grats. Or Dan Daniel Don maybe? Danny L. Don. Danny. I'm gonna say Danny. Welcome. Don't hit this mess. Uh, do I have you try to solo a mission? You're not really good enough to solo a mission. Oh, they're back in two hours. Yeah, you'll be fine. Have some medic training. Hey, COE troops won a mission they were delegated on. They did it. And then they're done with training. Okay. Bring all three. Could also go and get sniper training. But yeah, when you get an improvement that's already done, it grays out so you know, like, oh, like, soldier will no longer give me a speed thing because I've already gotten speed through training before. So that's a thing. Well, sniper training would certainly be a good thing for you to get. If you, if we can get you to level up, getting you another strength, though, to get you up to average, get you the soldier training. We'll see about doing that. You guys equipped up, shotgun, couple pistols. We got a couple med kits as well. Very good speed on you now. Okay, I'm, I'm going to fix that. You can drop your med kit. You can pick up another one. Need to slow you down a bit. Okay, we're all good speed now. And a few grenades to help out. Flares? Don't really do a whole lot. They're not really needed, ever. Okay. So, high urgency. We can... Uh... Way the hell up there. That's so far away. How do we want to do this? I can do multiple missions in one go. We don't have to come back to base and like re-equip or anything like that. I got enough ammo and everything. We can just go for it if we do it quickly. So with that in mind, I think I care most about... Care most about expanding. I'm gonna just... 
delegate that one and move out to these because I think that was that was just to go out and look at them basically like there's so many dudes find three different types of enemies and there you go the interface is a little bit extra yeah it's it's a little bit much but you get used to it pretty fast thankfully it doesn't change a whole lot as the games go on yes sir Shit, what was the mission? Eliminate at least five transgenants. Okay, not the coolest environment for this. But all right. We'll move together as a squad for now until we figure out what exactly we're fighting. A chomper. Fancy spinny camera. Very nice. It's basically just a nice, nice big doggo. There's one. And there's another one. It's just as a mission full of chompers. I'm okay with it if it is. There's one. I think it might be. Totally fine with that. Okay. Let's get Rhino Man yes, and sir. Cav frags out. Ready. All done, sir. Orders. Yeah. Lead him a little bit. Your orders, sir. Right click. Yes, sir. I'm good at this. There's one. And then pause and we're gonna have to shotgun it because it's getting a little bit close now. That guy's got a handgun. A moral man. Yes, sir. Basic man. Nothing too terrifying. Blam. Okay, the grenade nicked him, the shotgun finished him off. Zarand all change yes, target. Sir. Cav. Frag out again. Yes, sir. And you know what, Rhino Man, you too. There we go. Grenades, very good, especially for them with their big long lugs. I think they're a bit weak to explosions. I think that might be a Ready. thing. What now, sir? Ready to go. Alternatively, you just get them down low health and they kind of crumple over. Your dudes will automatically stop firing at them and they fall unconscious and that's how you capture dudes. Some missions will require us to capture a specific enemy. They're kind of annoying to do, but with just pistols and stuff, it's pretty easy. Hey, Hops, have a good one. Good luck with the uh, getting the car back in time for your shot and all that. Hope it all goes okay for you. All oh, right, we need to put the grenade away. Put that back on your belt. Your order, sir. Good to go. Good to go. And Zarendal, you got a good arm. Average throwing. We can see about getting grenade out with with you, since your shotgun won't really be a huge help here. I'm here. Yes, sir. Because yes, now sir. that you've got your offhand free, you can pop over into an aim shot type deal. Good to go. You can start Good taking shots. Oh, you, you don't have ready? the you don't have the grenade out yet. Okay. I was gonna say, like, how can you not throw there? All done, I'm hit. Oh, well. I'm hit. It looks like we'll be okay though. Yeah, it's already down. These biomes kinda suck because there's no real cover. I couldn't even really tell you if cover is a thing in this game. I'm not 100% sure on that. I think there is, to a degree. But it's not like classic XCOM where it keeps track of where the bullets are or anything. I think just the chance to hit gets reduced. But if you go to like a corner and you tell them to fire, they'll actually lean around the corner and all that to shoot. So like it, it's partly there. Keyboard shortcuts. There are there are keyboard shortcuts. What are they though? Um I thought there were at least. Maybe I'm thinking after aftershock. Not even sure where I would where I would see them, actually. I have to pop open the manual. Ugh. The manual for this game is all in Russian on Steam, so you'd have to find a um, 
<laughs> You'd have to find a, a translated manual. But yeah, this is from 2004, so the manual should have a good host of information about things and stuff. You know, with our luck, it's going to be just like a chomper running around, like right behind us. I need what? One more thing? Yeah, one more thing. Can't get there. Well, do it anyway. I don't care if you can get there or not. Just queue up a lot of movement There's here. One. Hey, there we go. It's a moral man with... I think no gun. So cancel everything. Yes, sir. And... Yes, sir. Move up and open fire. Blam. Yeah, health's low enough, it just crumples over. They automatically stop shooting. So, we've done the mission. Some of the missions are going to be a simple thing like, oh, just spot like two different transgenons. No matter what's happening, as soon as you complete the mission, this pops up. We can just end the mission, and it's a success. No matter what's going on. There could be a plasma grenade or something about to explode, like next frame, and it's still totally fine. It's a little bit cheaty, a bit, but uh, we kind of need it sometimes with this game. The gun that that one Moralman had was a Browning High Power, and it had three clips, so we have that now. One soldier was wounded, but none of them have to recuperate. We're still fine with that. We gained a dip. 604 experience in total. Somebody leveled. It's Malcolm... Malcolm leveled. Who is Zarendal, right. The... Willpower? Perception, maybe? Does anybody have good perception? Brian does a bit. Hmm. I think I'll give you a bit of perception, too. It's really important being able to spot aliens and enemies and all that. Used to enjoy reading the manual on the way home and the bus after going out to buy a computer game. Yeah, I would do that too. Like reading the back of the box and looking through the manual and all that. The manuals were good back then. They were really good. So, we got more stuff to do. So we're not gonna head home yet. And we're going to go ahead and do this mission immediately afterwards. We don't have to stop home. That means that we don't get to restock, but we got plenty of ammo on our dudes that it's totally fine. And hey, Twilight and Fall. Is finished up. From media records and satellite surveillance tapes, we were able to establish that the attacks took place simultaneously all over the globe over the course of several days. The planet was initially attacked using some sort of biological agent, which clouded the skies and then coated the land. As we can see, nothing much survived the incident. Some installations were attacked more conventionally with weapons from space, but we can't perceive any pattern in the attacks. <laughs> oh. That, however, has unlocked the Goodwill Campaign. Although the human race was greatly reduced by the fall, as it is now called, mankind wasn't entirely destroyed. Among the survivors, there are, are many different groups, some led by would-be by, by would dictators, some by would-be saviors, others merely given to looting useless goods from the stores. Some are actually good people just trying to survive on what's left out there. We should gather them together, the good and the bad, and try to rally what is left of the world around us. It's a very basic fundamental thing. However, doing this, it doesn't tell us yet, but doing this will allow me to delegate stuff and be successful significantly more often. The problem, though, is this requires development research. We don't have any development facilities available. We'll have to change our research base over to engineering to make that happen takes 24 hours to do okie dokie so that's that carry on we're getting here at night should be noted ready what's the objective here eliminate at least three ready so um your order sir ready reload Spacebar, by the way, can pause and unpause. Yeah, pause and unpause, it remembers the last setting. So there's that. But I don't know the key binding to change the speeds. 
directly. Yes, sir. Ready. R to reload as well. That has worked. Good to go. I will have you both. Well, cancel. I'll have you kneel and take shots. How about? Good to go. And then Zarendal, are you reloading? Okay, now you are. And then Orders, switch over to, to burst fire. Order, good to go. And continue to fire. Ready. We got him. Kill that bastard. Killed that bastard. Well done. Terrific stuff. Stay there a minute. Your order, sir. Think about your life. Ready, now, sir? All done, sir. Some of these missions like this, where it's just kill a few dudes, you could totally solo with a guy if you wanted to. It's just a matter of having enough weapons and ammo to do so. Or grenades, as the case may be. That is a dangle fly with no weapon. Alright. Oh no, Zarendal, you leveled last mission, didn't you? Kevin, Kevin, right on, man. You guys need the experience. Yes, sir. You can just hang out here a minute. Because the experience, I believe, isn't shared, per se. Yes, sir. I think, depending who does the actions, they get the experience for it. So, like, so far this mission, Zarendal will get fuck all, because he hasn't done anything. Which is good and bad. <laughs> not an alien, Kazak. Not not yet. Ready. Soon. Alien. That comes later. There's one. And that's a moral man with a gun. Looks like another Browning high power, maybe. All right. What now, sir? And get yes, you sir. up. You guys fall back a minute. Ready, Go into yes, the aim shot. Cav, have a quick reload. Oh god, no you're not. Reload. Are you out of ammo? No, uh, no. You're not. Reload. Oh, okay. Now you're doing it. All done, sir. Or are you? Do you have two half-assed clips? God damn it. Alright, right on man. Take the shot. I see that you're low on ammo there. I see that. Uh -huh. We good. And it didn't kill that Moralman, so we didn't get its weapon, but that's right. And two soldiers reached a new level. That should be Rhino Man and, uh, and Cav, yeah? Yeah. Cool, cool. So, uh... I wanted to I wanted to get intelligence with you, I think, for training, didn't I? I think I thought perhaps. Or was that you to get you up to good so you'd have good intelligence and perception? I think I want the strength with you though, so you've got average strength. You can at least get soldier training then. I'm gonna go and Intelligence with you. To change speed, numpad, plus and minus. Oh, okay. Not the most convenient, but I... Right. Thank you. You found the English manual through Google. Okay, cool. Yeah, the one on Steam is just black and white and in Russian. So, it doesn't really help me any. <laughs> Can post the manual if you want. Uh, you can throw it in Discord if you'd like. If you're on Discord, anyway. Okay. So, squad. Back at base, we've restocked. Yeah, you have, like, fuck all for ammo. That explains that. But if I give you any more... No, no, I can take off the spare medkit. The other spare medkit. There we go. Plenty of ammo. It's in the backpack, so it's not as accessible, but that's I. The Browning High Power that we got, we've only got the one, and we've only got three bullets for it. So that's that's what I mean by, like, you'll know when you have limited amount of stuff. I want to say down the road, you'll learn to make stuff, and then you get infinite of that. But these, like, standard conventional ballistic weapons, 
This just is what it is. And as we accumulate bases, we find stuff inside the bases and you get a whole bunch through there. Um, but do we care about this? It is soft damage instead of universal damage. So it's like the Uzi as far as that goes. But otherwise... Slightly more max range on the burst, but the aim shot worse. The damage is worse. The fire is slightly faster, I guess. It's it's not great. The the cult that you start with is for the most part the best handgun. It's universal damage, which is generally pretty okay against all the things. And uh and it's got the best range and all that, which is what you're using it for. If you don't want to use a pistol because you don't care about range, then you're not going to be using a pistol, you're going to be going with an Uzi. So... Eh. Eh. There is a Desert Eagle that we get at some point that might be worth taking a look at. But, uh... Probably going to be a little bit before then. Are we good with all this? I'll give you some more ammo, too. In case we go on more of these long excursions, so I want to keep you at good speed. Yeah. Okay. And then... Quick peek into training. Yeah, okay, you've got Medic. Yeah, it was Intelligence, but you need very good Intelligence and also good Perception, it turns out. I think our first thing is just to get everybody to at least average or good with all the things. Because you do you do need everything in this game with with everybody. You can't have one dude who's just like, I'm the scout, and all they do is look at things. Because eventually, they're going to run into trouble and nobody else can get to them in time. It's going to happen. They got to be good at all the things. I will... Throw you into training for now. In 15 hours, you're back. I think we can do a quick mission with the two of you. What were you? Capture a live transgenant? I'm gonna delegate that. And that's a recon. I'm gonna delegate that too. They're so far away. What the hell? Usually you get a bunch of missions like close by. Ah, you see here the, the highlight. The region is slowly becoming ours. Soon we should be getting a mission to find a base there. Until then, I'll go for this polar shit show up here. See how that goes. Mission near Kiev. Okay. What is it? Capture again. Delegate that. It 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 says you just capture a transgenin, but what it actually means is there's a very specific alien type that you fight there that it wants you to keep alive, so it might be like capture one Moralman live, and there might just be one Moralman somewhere, and like 80 million other impossible to kill things. <laughs> they can be really hit or miss. They're not too bad though if you just bring pistols and basic weapons to not one-shot the guy. And then... I'm going to have you grab some sniper training as well. And by the time we're back from this mission, you might both be ready to go. Good to go. It is nighttime again. Eliminate four transgenons. No cover or anything here. All done, sir. A chomper, though. Grab some high ground and uh, pick stuff off if it comes towards us, yeah? Times like this is where observation skills are really handy to have so you can spot things before they spot you. Technically, I should be walking. Heads up. Okay. I'm going to turn off hostile spotted camera movement. I don't really care too much about that. And I'm also going to turn the music down a little bit if I can. It's a brief touch loud. Brief touch? Small touch. Ready. All done, sir. How far can you throw? Not tremendously far. 
But far enough. <laughs> Ready. I think that was like way too far. That will be a waste of bullets, sir. All done, sir. Ready. Ready. Take the shot, switch back to pistol. Take the shot as well. Heal that bastard. I finished. Okay. The moral men. Because there is a noise system in the game, they'll probably be, be drawn to that explosion. So let's ahead of time get a grenade ready to head over to him. Ideally, it's a nice cool throw. Another chomper? Ah, on the left. Okay. Look at that throw. Holy shit. Cav. Good whooshing, sir. Good to go. Uh, let's go with here. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Fucking hell. Nailed it, and that's three. Crit for 1,540. Oh my god. That is it. Oh, four I need. Okay. This guy, too. Did he recruit exclusively from rural US, or are there international voices? There are international voices, but they're all really terrible accents. <laughs> um... They're pretty bad. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> I think I think Malcolm and Brian are always like very American accents, though. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, what a delivery! Nicely a done. Bullets, that would be a waste of bullets. It's super dead. We can continue, and if you do this, you can still finish out the mission. If you don't want to be a bit cheaty with it, if you're in a rough spot and you want to see how it plays out, or if you just want to get some more kills for more experience or more loot, you can do that. And then when you're ready, you hit the abort mission button up here. There's also the next area button, but this won't do anything for us yet. That's for a different mission type. We abort mission and then immediately bam, we're good, good to go. We did incapacitate one dude. I think that was the chomper. I think. Uh, two chompers, more omen. We got a Glock. A clip for the Glock. It's always clips. Uh, 1911 A1 Colt. I think that's what we've got. And some clips for that as well. I think that's our starter pistol. I think. London. Okay, eliminate opposition. Good, good, good. More of that. And Thule. What the are you up there? Recon? Jesus, delegate it. I don't care. Although recons are really easy. That's just run through and see what there is. If you got a fast dude, they're super easy to do. Did any member of any military at any time state that shooting their gun would be a waste of bullets when an officer instructed them to shoot? Nothing that you'd ever hear of. God damn it. That'd be a waste of bullets, sir. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> shoot. Ah. Uh. It's nice that it tells you that, though. They only say that if it's, like, a 0% chance to shoot, just so you can't even try to or waste the ammo trying. If it's, like, a 2% chance, they'll still try it. So it's not that's not that big of a deal. And training is done. Cool, cool, cool. Chopper has arrived. Rhino man, welcome back. Could give you soldier training still, but I'll wait for that. And then in eight hours, Danny can join on. Join on in. We got time? Yeah, we got time. I'll wait for Danny. So, Danny. Yeah, no, that is what we've got. So they can still use your weapons. I thought they might be able to. So maybe that one dude before that we saw that I was like, oh, it looks like a browning. It was probably actually just this with the brown handle. Oh, well. Have armor, 28%, dude. Really? That's it? Okay. This armor is actually a lot lighter than I thought it was. Let's go. Um, let's go with another shotgun, actually. Two shotguns, that could be nice. It's just the damage difference is, like, huge. Not even really close. 
That soft damage, though. More like little babby bitch damage, am I right? Jeez. Get out of here. Get get shrekt or something. Are kids still getting shrekt out and about? Is that still a thing that's happening in the streets? Getting shrekt? Ugh, average speed. Ugh, alright. I can work with that. I have another med kit. And a med kit for you too. It's just easier to weigh people down so they're all the same. They don't have to be the same speed. If you got one dude who's like ridiculously quick and a bunch of dudes that are slow, when you do the squad movement and you tell them to move somewhere and like you queue up movement, they'll go to the first waypoint and then wait for the slow dude to catch up and then they all move to the next waypoint. It still works out okay, but I much prefer having them all just the same speed. It's just easier. Clock again looks like it has way more ammo. Yeah, it, it could be that the, the ammo limitation of our starter pistol is one of the bigger things with it, because it's only 7 round magazine. Whereas 19 capacity, 13 capacity, the Uzi doesn't count. It could very well be. But infinite ammo, so... Okay, uh, let's go. I gave you armor? Yeah, okay. Move out. Four dudes for this one. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit much. Goodwill campaign is done. Our various efforts at propaganda have paid off. Many of the larger and more important groups of survivors have provisionally accepted our leadership, and we should gain at least some of their help if we come under attack. It should also take some pressure off your company, as it is now more likely that, the, that even missions you do not partake in will have a favorable outcome. I should also note, I suppose, missions that I don't delegate but do drop off, I believe are then automatically delegated. I believe. So even if you do miss out on a mission because you waited too long, it's still okay. I think. I'm pretty sure on that. Good to go. We are here to kill five transgenants. Okie dokie. With two shotguns, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Your orders, sir? Oh god, what's your voice? Well done, sir. Hey, what's that? What is that? It's a moralman right behind us. You see, you gotta check. You, ne you can never be too certain. You gotta check. I will have you wait around the corner. Yes, sir. The rest of you just come out over here. Yes, sir. Ready. Except maybe Zarendal. <laughs> maybe you also. Your chance to hit is pretty fucking bad, really. 21%? Nailed it. I got him, sir. Yeah, good job. Well, well done, Danny. Take the take the shoe out of your mouth. Why do you talk like this? Blam 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 blam. And he's down too. You see, with the pistols, it's like, the chance to kill them is so slim. You don't gotta worry about it too much. Can you enter the buildings? I don't think any of the buildings in the city tile sets you can enter. There... are doors that can open, but of a building, I think, no. We good? What do we got? Danglefly. Way out there. Okay, who's Captain Vision over here? Yes, Who is it? Okay, Rhino Man and Danny. Yes, Probably sir. Rhino Man spotted it from way out there. That's really good though. Danglefly with no weapon. We can work our way up to that. Good to go. Super handy to have that. When we eventually get sniper rifles, that'll be tremendous. They can go with, like, XCOM meta. Danglefly. Also, no weapon. They do sometimes have weapons. Sometimes it's really terrifying, the weapons they've go. got. Ready. He can't and he's down. Got too many more, sir. Dude, your voice, though. I don't know about it. Yeah, they do have a melee. Okay. They're not completely harmless. Yeah, you get interior missions, but you can't enter buildings on maps. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to put it. 
There are indoor missions, though. There's also multi-part missions. I think it says in one of the researches that dropping off gives you a bit less of a chance of succeeding than clicking the delegate button, but it doesn't say how much. It, it could be that, yeah, there's like a... It could be that there's a modifier. Okay, holy fuck, holy. This one, though. You got some sort of a rifle. It's tough to tough to see exactly what it is. We can't zoom in too much here. But uh that we're gonna fall back on a little bit. Here they come. There's a moralman over there too. Uh, it spotted you. Your orders, sir? Yes, sir. What ready now, sir. Requesting orders, sir. All done, sir. I'm ready for it. I've spotted the enemy. Okay, go kill it. I've spotted the enemy. Okay, yeah, give it a minute. <laughs> order, sir. Uh, maybe Rhino Man with a grenade, in fact. Awaiting yeah, see, he order. does a corner lean type thing. Uh -oh. You're fine. What now, sir? You're taking shots, but you'll be aight. Anymore, sir. Okay, Danny. That's what the grenade's for. They're together! Hey! I think we blew up a car or something, too. And that. Browning high power again. A 5-7 tactical. And an HKG-3. Oop. A lot of experience. Three levels. Let's give you average willpower, poor perception, and good intelligence, maybe, for the aliens of medical skill. Ah, no, let's go willpower. Pound out some more of that. E. A lot of just, like, mental smart stuff for people. What has that done for us for training? Not a lot, but handguns at hit points. Well, you do use handguns, Rhino Man, so there you go. Enjoy that. At least we got a rifle, and we got a little bit of work on the zone. Tough to see that. It's really tough to see that. It's a very large zone, though. Got a bit of work on that. The what? Secure this area. Okay. Sure. And then, yeah, increase hostile activity, gather info. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. That won't be too bad to do. Determine what kinds of enemies are present. Ready? Discover at least two different species. If you got someone who's fast, it's super duper easy to do this. Well, you can see why you want to be able to delegate missions at some point, because it becomes really too much to be doing all these missions after a certain point. Ready. I'm under attack. I so Dango Fly? We spot like a Moralman or a Chomper or something, that'll be that. There's one. Another dangle fly with a proper gun. Let's go the other way. What's uh what's over here maybe? I don't think it saw us. Heads up. Another one? Another just dangle fly. Times like this, everybody moving together, are very handy to have. Because then I can just cancel orders and attack, and they're already together in position for it. <laughs> Urban city in the ocean? Yeah, I don't know what the- it, it's gotta be like some little, like, German party island shenanigans or something, I don't know. The Azores? Hmm. I guess I'll check it out. Usually I get missions that are, like, close by and we get just, like, all of Europe within... Weeks in game. 
Ready. Not this time, apparently. Ready. Alright, what else is there? I guess we gotta kill the rifle one. Fine. It's 3v1. We can take it. Hey, what's that? Just a bunch of fucking tangle flies. Shit. Heal that mass ready. What a weird area this is. That one dango fly I thought went off to the right, didn't it before? Maybe it's breaking its way down here. One. <gasps> A moral bin. There we go. We've done it. There's we can one. go. Cam, I did it. Job's done. Yay! And there we go. We've done enough in the local area that this mission has popped up. This site would make a good location for one of your bases. Must secure the perimeter and then neutralize any hostile activity. And then enter the base and eliminate all resistance there. It's a two-part mission, these. The uh, the first part is pretty much just get to the base and then advance on to the next area. I will stop by base quickly, though. Yeah, that's, that's that. Stop by base, pick up the trainee. Rhino man. Re-equipped and all that. The HKG3 I think I might bring along with on... Um, say Zarendal. We don't have much ammo for it, but that's okay. Universal damage type, it's got a burst, aim, fire, good range. That'd be nice to have. And then to fix the good speed that you have. Another med kit. And then I'm gonna try a Browning High Power instead of the base gun. The larger magazines could be uh, a pretty nice thing. And a 5.7. Hey, hard damage on the 5.7. That's, that's worth noting. Uh, and I'll take a clock. And then just a bunch of kits. We all average again? Okay. Let's go. A kebab plate with fries. Mmm. Delicious. Yes, sir. There's the base. To get to the base, there's the gate. Yeah, we're nearby-ish. However... How would we get around? Yeah, the really annoying way. Yeah, this is yucky. Okay. I was gonna say, gates are for suckers, we're gonna go in through the wall, but, actually... <laughs> actually, we'll go the obvious immediate direct route, which is typically a trap. So we'll see how this goes. Our first two-parter mission. So, 
So far, there's one. So good. A chomper. There's one. Just ahead, a dangle fly unarmed. Kill it. And kill it. I really like the uh, the color coding. Wow, you just straight up annihilated him. He was down and everything. I like the color coding of the accuracy that pops up because everybody's got their color and all that. So the red dude had a really good hit chance of like 90%. Zarndal with that rifle. It's cool. I like it. This game doesn't have a whole lot of cool quality of life, um, you know, handy, neat things to it. But it does have a few. So now, enter the next area. This is what that button is for. Although, if you full clear this first part, I think it pops up and still says like, Hey, you've done it. You want to just like move on? And you can be like, yeah, totally. When I say unarmed, this implies the existence of a dingle fly with a gun. Because there are. <laughs> there was a uh, last. This rifle came from a dingle fly that had a gun. It's just like this weird flying cocoon thing with the upside down man attached to it. And sometimes the man that's hanging upside down has a gun. It's usually a pistol, sometimes a rifle, sometimes a sniper rifle. Those are really dangerous. Uh, everybody's going with. Cool. Yes, sir. Inside the base. A little bit dark. But that's okay. Eliminate only three. <laughs> that's it, that's all. Three transgenants. Terrific. You know what I'm going to do because I haven't in a while? Or at all, in fact, is I'm going to save. Because um, there's no auto saves at all. Let's first off. Can't get there. Ready? What do you mean Ready? he can't get there? Oh, you're cornered. I see. I get it. Ready, sir. Your orders, sir. Ready, well done, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awaiting further orders. Are we clear here? Ready. What next, sir? Yeah, all well right. Done, Let sir. them sit a minute because they're a bit blind. Ready. Your orders, sir. That seems I. Right. No, no, no. Cancel that. You just move there. Can't get there. Oh, I see. He's gonna be blocking you. Yes, sir. Good to go. All done, sir. Can't get there. What do you mean can't get there? Oh, I see. Yes. My bad. Ready? Yes, sir. But next up. Okay. Open the door. And then but run. Next up. Okay. But next We're good. Rhino man, open the door. And then run. <laughs> you never know, man. What now, sir? Your order, sir? There's one. Aha. Dangle fly. Rifle. It's tough to see. It's really tough to see. This one's got a rifle though. Watch out for it. Um you don't really have a great arm. I can't see away. Yes, sir. Let's just yes, sir. fall back. What now, sir? Awaiting further orders. What next, sir? What now, sir? All right, you can't throw around the corner. Your orders, sir. Ready, sir. Got it. That's one less of them to worry about. Well done. I've spotted the enemy. Okay. Your order, sir. This is typically how I do these things, is I like I cordon off an area and then I move on with a small what few people to check out another area. And then at some point I'll get them to a nice spot that they can watch, because patrols yes. and all that, while I move these guys around. So, like, once I get this hallway somewhat established, I can, uh, 
switch over. This is typically how I do it. The only in landscapes on Earth with lots of purple and other colors was that Aftershock. Could have been Aftershock. If you see much of this game, it's probably Aftershock. Afterlight is the really fucking weird one, but that takes place on the alien planet, I believe. But yeah, like, I think we can hang out. A door there, so that's closed. I think you guys can hang out there and keep watch for a moment while we look around here with you guys. Many other closed door areas that I'm going to ignore. Because you never know what's behind there. Could be an explodey thing. And if, it, if it's an explodey thing, then we're fucking dead. There's there's no there's no surviving that this early on. At all. Yes, sir. Your order, sir? That door's open. Your order, sir. Your order, sir? That door's open. Ready. You can hit it from here. Just kneel down here and take some shots. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> Danny. Um, no, not Danny. Sorry, wrong guy. I'm looking for Kev. I'm here and kneel down. 71% chance to hit, taking shots. Ready, and, and we good. Ta-da! Mission done. We did get the stuff from the first level as well, as you can see. AK-47, Colt M4. Bunch of experience. Give you a bit of agility or... Yeah, agility first. And there we go, a new base. By default, it's a military base. I'm going to have that be engineering as well as, as well as this guy to get that going. But are we even doing any research actually? No, we're not. No, we're not. I totally forgot to queue up new. So start development on UFO detection, I suppose. I guess we can start doing some autopsies as well. And summary of Dreamland files, that'll be a minute. Like, a long minute. And for doing the base, we got a cache of weapons containing some new and exciting models. We put them in our stores. What did we get? Some smoke grenades. Five smoke grenades we got. No armor, no heavy. No rifles. Some, uh, some scorpions though. Three of them with a shitload load of ammo. Boom. How you doing today, the man? All good, I hope. Luke is that as well. Starts to feel more like Baldur's Gate. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. It kinda. It follows that same vein a little bit. Um, yeah, Scorpion will be a nice nice replacement, I think. It's soft damage. Much the same. Holds less. Same reload. But the damage difference, though. That aim shot damage difference and the rate of fire difference for the aim shot. Really nice for that. So that'll be good. Sometimes you get lucky and you get a bunch of armor. Sometimes you do get... Oh, looks like we got Colt M4 ammo. At some... Oh, also AK-47 ammo. We got a bunch of that now, too. Sometimes you get lucky though and you get like cool rifles and sometimes new armors and stuff like that that way. That's good. And that is, yeah, another base potential location. Sure. Yeah. 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 Also Gibraltar. Okay. Maybe. Give me a minute. Man, these are like really far away, these bases. This is all spread all over hell. Do we have... 
Riga. Eliminate opposition there. Yeah, I'll probably do that because it's right next door. Any training to do real quick? No. Okay. I will, though. Pull out. Scorpion. It's two-handed, which means that having a grenade in your offhand is out, but that's okay. We still got Alexander Newman, who Cav for that with their good throwing skill. Could be a dedicated grenadier type dude, kinda ish. And then shotgun and rifle. Shotgun I'm gonna keep. Rifle, I'm th I think I'm happy enough with this rifle. We don't have a whole lot of ammo for it, though, is the thing. Universal, hard, universal, so maybe we go AK. Not as much range, and it's a bit slower. Hmm, yeah, I'll keep this. Not as much ammo, but it is a better weapon for me right now. And then just the one scorpion, please. Thanks. Bring speeds down a bit. Good. So, new base, that first. And then if this goes well, we can head up to this area and do that real quick then, immediately afterwards. Good to Alternatively, go. since this turns into a military base, we could leave it as a military base for a brief moment to restock and rearm, and then head out, and then change the base over. Would also work. So now we started along the bottom edge, this is a little more common. This is typically how it goes. Your order, sir. Yes, sir. So come on up. You will also notice the maps being literally the same. Sometimes there's only so many variants of them. I want to say it's better in Aftershock, but I don't really remember it too well, honestly. Moralman. Way up there with a handgun. We could ignore that. Ready. Alright, Cav, do your stuff. All done, sir. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Done, Fucking Good massive explosion, dude. Yes, sir. It's nuts. All done, sir. And then in. Cap2K looks very angry. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> he looks pissed. Cav, why are you All so done, upset, sir. man? <laughs> Didn't notice that. <laughs> like, Zarendal just looks focused. Cav just looks... He just looks pissy. Whoops. I don't know. Continue. Next zone. That's the one. Everybody coming with. Good to go. Aftershock shits on Aftermath with propulsive diarrhea, except for the story. The story's not bad, but Aftershock is the, the better game for sure. In every way, in my opinion. But you gotta play this one for the story. And to warm up to Aftershock. Mm, okay, a lot of, lot of doors here. Um, yeah, yikes. Uh, okay, Your orders. check. Check behind us quick. Go auto for this. Huh? Who? All done, sir. Like he wasn't paying attention at all. Huh? Huh? Awaiting further orders. We good? Investing orders, sir. This seems good. Okay. What now, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ready. Cav. Good luck. What <laughs> you, sir? Ready. Yes, sir. Good to go. Ready. Good to go. Ready. Looks to be fine. Ready. Take a yes, deal sir. there in full auto. Ready. Randall, what man. Now, sir? What's the story out here? 
Just a bazillion oh, doors. Good. Awaiting further orders. Okay, not the thing behind the door I was expecting. Um, you reckon you can full auto that dead immediately? Let's see what happens. It's got a gun too, I believe. He can't move now. Yeah. Well done. Just vomit bullets at him. How many do we got to kill? Four. All right. What's behind this door? There's one. Uh. Ah, he's got a pistol. Yeah, I'll have you back out a bit. I'm gonna yes, give sir. you a little support with. Yes, sir. Ready. Cav. You can come. You can come back and help quick. Yes, Actually, sir. no, Zarndal. You can come over in semi-auto mode. Awaiting further All orders. All done, sir. Might not need it. Looks like it's not really engaging very much. Ready. Nailed the bastard. Hey, right. was gonna just plug him from down the hallway with the rifle. Yes, sir. Okay, let's. <sighs> you know what, Danny? You get over here too. Yes, Why sir. not? Let's just keep going out. Ready, sir. Everything seems to be down in this corner anyway. Ready. You can watch our back. Awaiting further orders. All done, sir. A good chunk of mutants are former Ready. humans. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of like previous people thing. We'll learn more about My them as we do the out. autopsies and everything. Your orders, sir. There's yes, uh sir. there's proper lore for all of all it. Done, also sir. reasoning for all of it, and there's oh. there's info. Yes, sir. Requesting orders. Ready, sir. All done, All sir. done, sir. Yes, sir. Ready. Ready. Stay Ready. Ready. back. Awaiting further orders. What now, sir? Yeah, Awaiting you, you think orders. so? Ready. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Ready. Ready. All in all, it's a really good game. Awaiting for it's order. just this one's got its issues, and I think a lot of people never really gave it too much of a chance. Order, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know. It just Your it order, doesn't sir. it doesn't seem like as popular as I feel like it should be. Maybe I'm just not in the right circle of people. I don't know. Okay. Let's get yes, sir. Rhino Man back. Full auto with the Scorpion. You watch behind us proper. Awaiting further orders. Keep an eye out. Yes, sir. Your orders, sir. Yes, sir. All done, sir. Good to go. Ready. All done, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ready. Ready. Good to go. Yes, sir. What next, sir? I want to open sir. the door, but I don't want to open the door. <laughs> yes, sir. Um... Yeah, back out to here to and get you across. Ready? Zarndal, hang yes. tight. Danny, have a nice, have a nice little run. Awaiting further orders. We, we good here? Hey, what's that? Hey, what is that? <laughs> what is that? I think it's just a Mormon with a handgun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good to go. <gasps> dive, dive, dive. All done, sir. And then turns here looking around the corner the correct way. Done, and blast him. 
Bla blast. There we go. Nailed that one. Okay. Yes, I think sir. I'm spoiled by this, like the faster non-pump action shotguns. This thing feels so slow. Good to go. Although I am Ready? on slow speed, that might also be. The voice acting is enthusiastic, if nothing else. Ready. <laughs> Just wait for it. I have. We haven't heard the best line yet. Yes, sir. Ready. Did we check this? Yeah. All done, sir. Yeah, we checked all that. I guess double check it quick. Yes, sir. And then I suppose we can hit this door yes, from two angles. Yes, sir. Don't open it yet, though. Good to go. Ready. What now, sir? All done, sir. Requesting orders, sir. Yes, sir. Your orders, sir. Awaiting further orders. Ready. Seems Ready. fine. Yes, sir. Ready. All done, sir. Uh, okay. Awaiting further orders. Good Requesting to go. orders, sir. Guess I'll move together. Probably shouldn't be, but I'm gonna. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior Smith and Wesson? Yeah, we're just done, really aggressive. Uh, like Jehovah's Witness people, I guess. I don't know. Yes, sir. Take a kneel immediately and take a shot. Pop. Pop. And pop. Range is a king. Okay, good. That is it. Phew. We'll always be on edge during those missions. Hey, there you go. A desert eagle. Desert eagle, mark 19. Browning high power. HKG 36 again. 954 experience in total. Yeah, it's a few levels. I'll give you... Uh, what are you you're using? Rifles mostly. What would give you the most rifles? Agility, it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, alright. Maybe. I think for you, we'll go with the willpower now to get you up to average. Try to get that side power up a little bit more. God damn. And same with you. Okay. What are the chances these devs actually paid to use licensed gun names? Probably wasn't popular enough to get sued. Uh, I have no idea, actually. I never thought about that. It could be they spent a bit of money for it. Comrade Butterscotch? Been a fan for a while, though, and only just realized your name was Closet Yeti and not Closest Yeti. A lot of people... A lot of people... See it as closest Yeti. And I don't know why. <laughs> I guess because Closet Yeti is so odd. But yeah, Closet Yeti. You're not alone in that. A lot of people think that. So what do we get this time? Okay, more smoke grenades. 25 of them now. Jesus. No armor yet. We got an RPG. Team Rocket can almost be realized. And then looks like more AK-47s with a shitload of ammo for that now. We can use that as like a standard daily driver now. And uh, browning high powers, yeah, enough of those to eat for candy. Okay. Um, hmm. Not... 
Not great, but I'll take it. That's fine. And let's head up to this guy immediately. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And now the base we turn over into... I guess also engineering. We'll just transition them all together. Well, no, you know what? No, let's go research, because there is research stuff that we can do, like proper research. Some of the autopsies. Do it. It'll take... Take a while. Probably not quite worth doing it. Yes, sir. Nine transgenants. What? Okay. Nine of them. Dude, this is going to be a sit in the corner and scream. It's going to turn into tower defense. Speaking of corner and scream. We get over here. Ready, sir. Fucking no, we're not. Ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pretty often are not. Yes, sir. Heads up. Your order, sir. Oh, you don't see him. There you go. There's one. That's a balloon fish. It's like a skeletal fish with a big sack in the middle. These things are pretty much priority number one. Their entire purpose is to swim up to you and then explode. They will one shot pretty much all of us. Yes, sir. Not a lot of bueno. Good to go. Like at all. I'm gonna have you change target to him real quick. And uh Maybe take a knee and keep firing. Ready. Okay, good shot. Ready. I've lost sight of him. They're very squishy. Not a whole lot of concern there. But if they're behind the door and you open it, they will blow up almost before you even notice they're there. Yes, sir. And then she got like really observant people. Yes, sir. Good All right, and Zarendal, you're gonna be doing a lot of heavy lift in this mission, Zarendal. Hope you're ready for it. Yes, sir. We clear over here ready. now. We good? Can I exist? Ready. Can I have my can't corner? Him, sir. You can't see him? Oh, cause you're kneeling. That makes a bit of sense, actually. Yes, sir. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Jesus Christ, Cav, what a throw, man. They're getting pretty good range with that. Yes, sir. Awaiting further orders. All right. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> Looking good. Is that car okay? What's wrong with it? Why is he got a flame geyser? Good to go. I don't think that's normal. Yes, yes sir. Let's let's walk over yes, to sir. investigate. Yes, sir. Awaiting further orders. All done, sir. No, 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 no. All done, sir. Ready, sir. You. Ready. We okay over here? If we weren't okay, would you notice? Okay, yeah, very good observation. Sometimes they're so garbage at seeing that you send them off for a little, like, scout thing, and it's not actually clear. They just didn't notice anything. God damn it. <laughs> a, bad soldiers are really bad, man. Probably the carburetor. Does that normally do that? It seems a little bit hot. I feel like that shouldn't be so hot. From memory, I Phoenix Point. The enemy. Slime thrower. Phoenix Point has explosive enemies that can be launched at you by other enemies. You don't know why these games enjoy suicide bomb enemies. They're either a waste of time or devastating with no in between. Yeah, and I spoke 
some of the folks who do open XCOM mods, some of them consider like a self-destruct enemy type, and I always try to talk them away from doing it. Explosions and this are generally just there. Yeah, there's no in between. It's it's one extreme or the other. It's either lol, it's dead, or oh god, we're completely fucked, and that's it. It just forces you to play slowly, which. And a turn-based game is odd. In this, it's... It just sucks when it's right behind a door. I, I like... I like that there's enemies that are obviously way more dangerous than other ones, because then you have a target priority system going on. You can try to hit it from here? Holy shit. Can't even see him now. That's a weird Can't angle you're getting him on him. A really weird angle. I'm surprised you've got an angle at all, though. That's tremendous. For Slime throwers, um, they're ranged. They're very squishy. Ready. Blow them up or use soft rounds or universal rounds. I think hard rounds are a bit shit against them, though. But they have a ranged projectile attack. They're really inaccurate. If you keep moving, they'll pretty much never hit you. If you stay put, they'll still kind of never hit you. But uh, if you travel together as a big group, then even the missed shots will hit your dudes. They're a bit, a bit scary then in that case. Awaiting further orders. What now, sir? All right, I think we're okay just to move yes, up. Sir. In yes, general. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, you can't hit it yet either. Let's we'll see if I can get in close for a grenade. Is their best handled either from really far away or with just a guy? Because again, if you keep they moving, come. they kind of can't hit you. Rhino man! Do 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 Rhino man! Ugh. Dude, that was the worst throw ever. What the fuck? Did the wind catch it? What's your excuse? How could you? You're fired. Try again. Alright, good job. I can't see away. What happened to the one? Did it bounce off the tree or something? Ugh. I can't see away. No, yeah, don't don't then. Just just move. Just keep moving. It's fine. We'll zig and zag a little bit. I got stuck in the attack command and didn't know how to clear it. Oh, what a dodge. Here they come. <gasps> Balloonfish. Uh okay, that. Yes, sir. That we're gonna move up a little bit to handle. Good to go. Good to go. <laughs> that that might that might get priority here real quick. Can you uh huck a grenade in this direction? There's one. A cudgel as well. Yeah, it's just got a pistol, though. That's fine. And then scoot. Scoot, skeet, scat, whatever you want to do. You're zigging and zagging. Not really happening at all. And head down. Zarendal, move up. Cav. All done, sir. Okay, have you All ready done, for sir. this? Are you ready for this pro Can maneuver it, here? Yes, sir. Hey, he's shooting at you from way back All there. Done, oh, nice little string of accuracy he had there for a minute. Yes, sir. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. All done, sir. There we go. I'm under attack. Oh, you're fine. You shush. You did good. A little scary for a minute there. Some of those hits were uh, looking pretty accurate. Good to go. Okay. How's that moral man? Yes, sir. I thought he was coming out. That's why I threw the grenade up over the wall. Try to like kind of blind fire it a bit. You got a good enough arm. We can one. do stuff like that. Good to go. Oh, <laughs> if if you had grenades, we could. Your order, sir. Well, shit. Ready. I'm in trouble. Yeah, you need to like move away immediately. All 
done, sir. They got me. That's a spirit. Yes, sir. That's the one. Ready, sir. Yes, sir. They got me. The greatest gunfight known to man. Your order, sir. Do yourself a little bit. And then head up to Cav. I'm here. And heal him a little bit too. It's an old spaghetti I'm western here. shootout. <laughs> it's like just meters away from each other, firing endlessly and not hitting a single one of us. Yes, sir. Terrific. Nothing coming up on our side at all, huh? Good to go. It's all looking clear and good. Yes, sir. Alright. I thought there'd be more stuff drawn by the fire and explosions and the everything happening. I guess they don't really care too much. Police squad with Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, that's the one. Naked gun if you prefer. Yeah. What now, sir? It's like on opposite sides of a barrel trying to shoot at each other. Or any combat in Rimworld at all, whatsoever. All of them. They're all the same. God damn it. Ready. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more. I think two more. Ready. Your order, sir. All done, sir. I can't see a way. You got grenades, Zarendal? Yeah, you do. Drop a few for me, would you? Ready, sir. All done, sir. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. Awaiting further orders. Oh, you still had a few. Oh, no, it's Cav who needed them. Ready. Your orders, sir. Not Rhino Man. Ready. Awaiting Good further orders. Yes, sir. Nope. Ready. Yes, you. sir. All done, yes, sir. sir. Your orders, sir. All done, sir. What now, sir? I have a hard time believing it's so clear here. There we go. It... Has a pistol. I believe. Ready? Ready? Your orders, sir. What now, sir? What now, sir? What now, sir? Ready for it. Yes, sir. Ready? Heads up. Average observation. Okay, yeah, you see him. Yeah! <laughs> We're everywhere! Look at me go. Ladies and gentlemen, tactics. Oh, that was it. I'm good at counting. Ooh! That's one thing against this game. The audio does not indicate a shift of urgency when in combat or immediately afterwards. The slow dread piano is not quite right. Enemies seem to not react to explosions, fighting, or drama. They do react to explosions and fighting and stuff, but a lot of the a lot of the dudes that we're fighting seem to just not really give them much of a shit. But like chompers are really sensitive to audio and all that. And they'll definitely come charging out into combat. Uh, balloon fish as well, spore blowers will do that. When you fight reticulans, they do that. It's there, to a degree. Slime throwers might even too, I'm not sure about that. Okay, a lot of stuff. Six enemies we killed, we incapacitated three. One dude level, three wounds, but nobody having to go to sick bay. 1,209 total experience. It's enough to get you to level. Which I'll give you, yeah, strength. To get that up to average. You should be able to do some training then with that. And then that could be a base. Which, um... Yeah, give me a minute. Carry on. What the f way the hell down here? An important installation here that must not fall into enemy hands. Your job is to go there and destroy it. <laughs> uh, I'll do that one. 
because that one's funny. Important installation. What do you think it could be? Well, like a radio tower, a bunker of some form, some electronic equipment. What could it be? Bro found high urgency on that. We should really do that. This I'm just gonna delegate this. I don't I don't really want to do this tear from the deep bullshit that's going on apparently. No thanks. So I'll I'll let that sit for a minute. It's low urgency. We'll head down. We'll head down and secure the area in the desert, annoyingly. Ugh. And then we'll destroy this uh, important installation. I want long range for it, though, so shotgun, you're out. We're going to a desert. There's no cover there. Colt M4. And average speed is what we're going for, I think. Although... Looks like we're all quick enough, we could all go with good speed. So let's, let's try for that. Everybody just a bit quicker. And instead of the scorpion, um, we'll pocket the scorpion. How about? God, so many medkits. <laughs> it's a good problem I had to have, I suppose. But jeez, for now I'm gonna give you a pistol with some range. Looks like the five seven tactical with its hard ammo, though. I don't really want hard at this point. You know, really, the Uzi's not not that bad range. I guess I stick with the Uzi. It's sort of the best of both worlds for now. Um. Well, yeah, your your grenade. Have a Desert Eagle. Why not? <laughs> that sounds fun. And then more grenades, because holy shit. All the grenades. Good speed, good speed. Good speed, med kits, ammo. Yeah. Okay. Desert. Flat. Move out. Hey, a new recruit as well. Lynette. Good marksmanship. So she's kind of a natural sniper for us. Very good willpower. Poor intelligence, though. Good perception. Yeah, like a... Just sniper through and through. Not bad. Need to get your intelligence up a little bit. And we can, uh... We can work on that. This is so interesting to watch, usually not into these types of games, really. I guess it scratches a, a bit of a different itch than your classic XCOM would, because it's a bit... It's a bit real-timey and all that. It gets fucking brutal, this game, though. Like, it gets really difficult down the road. I'm gonna have some troubles eventually. Hmm. Well, let's get you named. Volunteer. You're in. I guess for now, just another rifle. You put like an AK or something like that. Obviously armor. We've all got proper armor on, right? Yeah. 
Well, proper armor, I guess. Speed poor. Oh god, your speed. Oh no, I didn't notice. Okay. <laughs> uh, well. I know what we're improving with you. You are going to slow everybody down. All the time, always. For now, sit at base. Think about using a treadmill. Carry on. UFO detection is done. Our radar systems were upgraded with the latest technology available on Earth in order to increase their range and sensitivity. As a result, they can now detect and track flying enemy craft for the sake of tradition we call them UFOs. It also enables our fighters to intercept and engage them. This is a major breakthrough in our war, even though the range of the radar systems is still rather small. Nice thing about this, I don't have to build anything or do anything at all. Don't have to do it. We just have that now. We have scanners, we can detect UFOs, we just have fighters. Though if the fighters get shot down and destroyed, it takes a little while for them to be rebuilt, but they're automatically rebuilt for free without me doing anything about it. It's nice. We're humanity's last hope here. Um, and that's it for development stuff. So now we are just pounding out research research. UFO access, I need a UFO hole for, and UFO detection to be researched. The Dreamland files, I need the files. Advanced UFO detection, I need a UFO hole and UFO computer, so that's not going to be a, a good long while. For the moment, it's really just autopsies to work on. So we'll switch everybody over to a proper research base, since engineering is doing nothing for us. Except... Hmm. Yeah, no, switch them all over to basic research. I'm thinking we do another military base though, so we get another fighter squadron. Because UFOs at this point, the chances of us taking them down is pretty slim. Infamous UFOs. When this happens, you'll be asked if you want to intercept the UFO. If you agree, a wing of three aircraft will take off from a nearby military base that will try to run down the UFO and engage it in combat. The moving icons of planes and UFOs show their current positions of all airborne units. Oh. God, this place is so far away. Got it, though. And it's daytime, thankfully. The intercept theme? It's a pretty okay yes, intercept theme, yeah. It ain't, it ain't bad. Oh, God. Fucking tremendous, this. This is gonna be great. What do we gotta do? Six transgenants? Looking huh? looking forward to it. Your order, sir. No yeah, this will be great. Yes, sir. Totally fine. I've spotted the enemy. Chomper at least. All done, sir. Orders. Yes, Ready. sir. What now, sir? Your orders, sir? Take a shot if you can, please. Man, with it, what a healthy boy those are. I never really noticed. I typically just shock in them in their stupid face. And then they die. Heads up. Another chomper up ahead. Heads up. And a spore blower. Okay, spore blower we also want dead. They're also a bit priority. Are you kneeling? You can kneel. You too. Ready, sir. Ready. When you're done that, take some pot shots. Requesting orders, sir. Good to go. All done, sir. Your order, sir. Okay, we really need this thing dead like a bit faster if you could. Please. Please, a little bit faster. Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody, focus fire on this. Don't blow spars. Okay, we're good. Phew. Jesus Christ. Cutting a little bit close, yes, huh? God damn. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. No, that's fine. We're good. Fuck, they also kind of explode when they get close. It's not 
ready. as ready. immediately destructive, but it's pretty bad. Oof. He can't move now. So, I think I got Heads him. up. Yeah, no, I think you got it too. I think you deafened me as well. You've, you've managed. Oof. Some of these guns in burst fire mode, I think it is. It's just so loud. And he's down. Waiting further orders. It's it's dead. All right, no survivors, I guess. It's fine. Maybe it's more experience. It's a rule, you know. Double tap. Ready. Yes, sir. All, All done, done, sir. Heads up. All done, sir. All right. Okay. I can't hit him anymore, sir. I like the lean you were doing just then. Were you going for trick shots? Just like raise a leg and shoot under it or so. Or like some fancy bends that you'd be doing for playing billiards. <laughs> Around behind your back and stuff. You order, sir. Nah, I'm jealous. That's nah, fine. You're cooler than Ready? me. Yes, sir. Is that what you want to hear? Orders, sir. Ready. You order, sir. Good to go. I've spotted the enemy! Rifles! Nailed the bastard. This is why I brought them. Because a shotgun here would be pretty much worthless. Although, hanging out like behind a tree would be okay. But then you run the risk of a spore blower that's blocking line of sight just coming around and taking the out. Easy peasy. No wounds or anything like that. And two levels up. Malcolm McLean. Or Zarendal being one of them. Give you more willpower. More willpower and then Cav. Excellent strength. What helps out your throwing more? Probably strength. It's looking like strength. Although we need, um, we need stuff to be not poor really for training. So let's go for that first. Okay, and then the important installation, we'll do that. We're in the area. And then, yeah, missions and missions and missions. And now we got some base stuff happening. That'd make a good location for a base. Get to capture a live transgene and I'll just have them do that. Make a good spot for a base. Make a good spot for a base. Now we're going. And the good news is when I get this as a base, we should immediately then get a mission for this guy, because this is already a pretty good glow. We can get a base there. If we get a base here, I think we'll automatically get this as a base then. Just automatically, straight away, without even doing the mission. It, it kind of chains together like that a little bit. If you surround an area, I think you just get it for free. So there's that. An observer is hanging around. Yeah, go for it. Let's try it. What the... What's it doing? Is it okay? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Just... Stop! <laughs> halt! Okay. <laughs> is that how they observe? It's a little bit odd. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Night vision, because it's nighttime. We're heading out. And we, we took it out immediately. That was like the most bare bones basic UFO possible. That's actually the first time I've ever had my first victory with an air combat, like the first one. Usually it's like a planter or some shit that's like, oh, I guess we try to shoot that down, but like super duper don't. <laughs> All right, we got it. It's uh, it's down, but there's no mission for it, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping it was something that would shoot us down, because sometimes when you lose a plane, sometimes the lost plane turns into a mission. There's a pilot to rescue. And what's cool about that is if you let that sit a minute, a UFO observer will come out to try to check out the, the pilot who's down, because they're curious. They want to know what the fuck that is. So it's kind of cool, and I, I was hoping I could sort of show that off a bit, but, well, just simply shooting down the UFO helps too. 
Yes, sir. Shame it's in a dumb spot, so we can't really do the mission at all, but ah well. Yes, sir. Ready. That is oh, fine. Master. So what are we doing here? Oh yeah. The destroying the object, the important installation. You got any guesses for what it is? Kev, I'll just probably have you run over and do it. It's that. That's the important installation we gotta destroy. I, I, do, I don't know what it is. I don't actually have a guess. <laughs> a, a coral rock crash satellite. Uh, some statue. Some dude's compost gone wild. I really don't have a guess. Those are guesses, but you know what I mean. That's what we have to destroy. We have to yes, run sir. over there with a grenade and blow it up too, because shooting it I don't think works. So if you have somebody who's really quick, like, go. uh, like Cav. Yeah, with very good speed. Who actually does have very good speed, it turns out. Um, you know what, let's, let's try it with you real quick. Let's see how this goes. You can maybe just run over and solo it real quick. What next, sir? Ready? This is one of the missions where speed is a really cool trait to have. There's one. A chomper? Oh, just just a head though. That's fine. You can ignore that. By ignore, of course, I mean blow the blow the smithereens out of. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Well Direct hit, get out of here. Next! Oh, what's that? It's got a rifle. That's not okay. Let's go over here. Uh. Let's go over here this way. It doesn't seem to have noticed. And this is when the spore blower is like right around the corner ready for you. I shouldn't jinx it. I know this game too well. Ready. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Done, Bam. Job's done. We can go home. Good work, Cav! Hey, ya! Uh! <laughs> nice. We kidnapped the chomper body too while we're at it. And Danny has leveled. Um, I, hmm, intelligence, I think, I think would be, I really zoomed out, I think it'd be best. Um, do we have, we have, we have ammo, volunteers still just hanging out at home. Uh, I th think... I think I want to do this real quick on the way back. More on autopsy is done. As we got the research bases converted over, it sped up a lot, so it didn't take the... 20-some days that I thought it would. This creature is a transmuted humanoid corpse carrying a hideous cocoon on its back. The lower portion of the cocoon extends through the chest cavity of the host body, which is controlled through direct neural connection in the spines. The pupa is partially visible through the transparent cocoon. The moral men is capable of using human weapons or attacking physically through the host. Moral men are just as vulnerable as normal humans to most attacks, but lasers, hard bullets, and plasma do slightly less damage, as the host bodies are unable to sense pain. Get a little... Kind of, sort of, video of it-ish over there. Showing off its features, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. uh, normal humans to most attacks, but hard bullets, uh, slightly less damage. Okay, cool, yeah. Lasers and plasma. Some of these talk about warp weapons, too, and it's like we don't even have a guess what the fuck warp weapons would be, but all right. That's fine. Let's go for uh, 
Yeah. I guess it don't matter. We'll just go from the top. Slime thrower next. God, this place is so far away. Hey, okay, there we go. A medium planter. Terrific. Yeah, go for it. Good luck. Daytime now. We can actually see it. Oh, this is like an actual compliment of UFOs. We're super fucked here. There's no way we can do this. Although we're trying to shot one of them down. One of us are shot down as well. Second one of us shot down. It's 1v3. He's doing his best. She, he almost fucking did it. We managed to down two UFOs and we super duper hurt the other one. That would have been, that would have been great. <laughs> that would have been tremendous to have done. Wow. All right. Well, there's a mission there now. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the pilot rescue. Yes, sir. Man, that would have been, that would have been great. Um, gates just there. We're just here. I'll work my way over. Just kind of get there. We don't have to be fancy about it. Good luck, everyone. Oh god, the speed difference. What are you doing? There's one. Hey, a flapper. Beautiful. Who wants a free kill? Um. Danny? Danny, you want a free kill? Come here. There's one. He's also a uh, plectin. Ah, uh, plectin. Yes, sir. Good Cav. To go. Cav, it's a plectin. Frag out. Yes, sir. You can just hang out a minute. There's what one, now, sir. sir. And Ready? maybe take some shots at the cudgel. Yes, sir. Rhino man, keep moving. Danny, working your way through the flopper. Cav, you throwing that grenade? How's it going? What's the status? Good, good. Also, it shoots a projectile more accurate than a slime thrower. Uh, maybe I have them reversed. Maybe these are the inaccurate ones, and the slime throwers are fairly accurate. I don't know. They're pretty comparable, though, overall. Yes, sir. And then the flapper, just like, I don't know, kick it or something like that? It's harmless. But... Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, that, that's it dying. You did it, well done. It's a cool thing to research, I suppose. <laughs> Get it marked off. We already got a plectin too. That's cool. We're starting to fight some... Some more difficult things nowadays. The game's got kind of a auto-balance type thing going for it, I believe, that introduces some of the later on aliens a bit early if you're doing too well. So we're we're advancing on to the next tier of of things. Uh next part. All four people? Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> F for pilot man's one to three. <laughs> Well, not one to three. One of them, I think, uh, I think we can do a rescue. We can save pilot mans. Go on to auto mode for everybody. Moral men, just there with a rifle. Ready. Yes, sir. Um. Yes, sir. Hmm? Oh, yeah, you know what? Maybe stick with semi-auto yes, for the accuracy. Yes, sir. And yeah, Cav, just just throw a grenade. It's fine. Ready. Ready. I'm here. All done, sir. There we go. It had a rifle. Area. I don't want to fuck around with that. Are you kidding me? It was hurt. It hurt bad. It hurt real bad. All right. And behind, we okay here? Your order, sir. Good to go. Ish. Somewhat, Ready. to a degree. What now, sir? Your order, sir? Yes, sir. I'm gonna try blowing open a door. All done, what sir? Next, sir? Ready. Yeah, that does work. Okay. I mean, it's annoying to do that with every single fucking door, but if it means a balloon fish what doesn't now, take out half the squat, Ready. then uh, oh. that might be worth it. I wasn't sure if these doors would break, but... Ready, sir. 
ready. Good to go. Requesting order. And shoot them with guns. What the what door? Answer? Ready. Ish. <laughs> ready. Sir. That lets you try, I guess. Didn't seem very effective, though. Your order, sir. Good to go. What now, sir? Good to go. Ready. All done. Sir. Nervous about all those. Yeah, you know, let's check. Order, let's check up sir. here first before we deal with another door. They have the doors for later on. Yes, sir. What next, sir? Ready. All done, hey, sir. Wait. Hey, Wait. Hey, flapper. Got it. Yes, sir. Danny, hey, flapper sir. murderer extraordinaire. Another one. How many do we got to kill? Six things? This is great so far. Easy. Yes, sir. Kill okay, flappers sir. all day. I got him, sir. Nail Ready. the bag. Ready, sir. <laughs> That's a pitiful squeal they make. <laughs> uh... Yeah, 2003 for this. I always forget the year if it's 2004 or 2003. But yeah, 2003 for this one. I think after Shock was 2005 and then after Light 2006. I always just call it just the 2005 UFO series of games because it's easier that way. Yes, sir. Not the best arm, huh? Oh god, no, don't do that. Can move up and then throw a grenade. How about? Oh. Jesus, what was that? Who? Where? Critically hit by a moral. Oh, right fucking there. Hi. What are you doing? Get him, get him, get him. Ow! Just <laughs> full autoed each other down. <laughs> it's okay. We can save you. You're just you're just knocked over. <laughs> uh, good stuff. <laughs> Point blanks. <laughs> All done. You good? What next? Up? All right. You're fine. All well done. done. Sir. Good show. You'll be recovering in yes, sick bay sir. for a few days for that one, I think. Your order, sir. All done, sir. And what's happening over here with the door? You winning? Awaiting further order. All right. Good to go. What now, sir? Good to go. All done, sir. Oh yeah. Uh A gun out would be handy, huh? Good to go. Ready. All done, sir. Sure. All done, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, the flapper died. Right. Yeah. Okay. Ready, sir. I wasn't expecting something to scream just then. Yeah, I think the Moralman has the same gun that we've got. I could. Ready, uh... sir. Yeah, you double t yeah, fine. Well done. You've done it. You proud? You happy? Take a look. Yeah, same gun as we've got. Just a little M4 duel. <laughs> Ready, sir. Yeah. Should have gotten around the corner a bit. I was afraid that he'd get a burst fire into your Ready? back or something, though, as you went, and we lose a, uh, a turn, so to speak. Just one more thing, I think. Good to go. Oh, now let's head up this way. Good to go. You kidding me? 
Well, when, no, when you get up there, Cav, you can do it. All done, sir. I believe in you. All done, sir. Yes, sir. Your orders, sir? Ready. Dude, these behind door jerks. The game's warning you. Your orders, sir? Like, hey, look at where we're putting Damn. things. Ow, you got a also a real rifle. Ow, no, I'm stop, Zarn, though, get out of there. I'm here. All All done. Done. Jesus crap, man. Good to go. Good shooting. I think I got him. And like I said, I'm pretty sure cover is a thing in this game. Oh, empty. Okay. Good to go. Ready. All done, sir. Ready. All right. Now one more thing, Ready, I think. Sir. Man. What now, sir? Awaiting further orders. And the aliens heal each other. I think in Aftershock they can. In this, no. Awaiting further orders. Good to go. I, I want to say Aftershock, when you get into done, the mid to late game of Aftershock, what you start to fight, I think that heals. Your orders, sir? Ready. Ready. Or rather, can heal, like other things. Ready, All sir. done, sir. Requesting orders, sir. I'm risking it. <laughs> Seems fine. Yes, sir. Hmm? Ready. Your orders, sir. All done, sir. We okay here? Requesting All done, orders, sir. sir. Hmm? Good to go. Ready. Ready. Oh, you're out of grenades. Good to go. Balls. Ready. Huh? I need just all the grenades, man. Ready. What next, sir? Your orders, sir. Good to go. Requesting orders, sir. All done, sir. Hmm? All done, sir. Nope, wrong guy. Good to go. Ready. Next, sir. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Ready. Ready, sir. Awaiting further orders. Yes, sir. Awaiting further orders. Oh, right, yeah. Can't throw our wrong corners. I always forget that. Ready. I thought maybe you just had the worst throwing arm in the history of XCOM. Or UFO as the case may be. All done, sir. Yes, sir. Your orders, sir? Ready. Ah. Uh. Good to go. What now, sir? All done, sir. Requesting orders, sir. Ready. All done, sir. Ready. Your orders, sir? Okay. Then... Good must be go. behind us somewhere. Ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's gonna be like a flapper or something, isn't it? Somewhere. Your orders, sir. You do run into bug hunt missions in this quite often where you're looking for like one last thing. Usually it's pretty legit. 
where it's like, oh, you need to kill four things, and there's actually five or six the things on the map. All done, sir. But sometimes, sometimes you're not so lucky. Ready. Yep. Just have people run around a bit until we spot it, yeah? Ready. Can't get there. Ready. They're pretty good about auto pathing and everything. Can't get there. Ooh, this room. Actually. Hold on. Pretty interesting to see the progression into the next game. You've never heard or seen anything from this series. A lot of people haven't uh, played or heard of these games, and it's surprising to me. I don't. I guess they didn't do very well at release, but they made a whole mini series of them. There's three of them. Strange. For me, I missed out because I was deep into the MMO craze at the time, and maybe a lot of people were. Because, you know, we're talking, like, toward the beginning of World of Warcraft and all that, and a lot of people were getting into EverQuest and just everything at the time. But next up, good to go. So all maybe, done, maybe that's got something to do with done, it? Sir. Good to go. Yes, Ready. sir. All, all done, sir. sir. All done, sir. Can you get a grenade, like... Yeah. All done, sir. Ready. Okay. That's all of our grenades. Ready. XCOM! Kaya! Heads up. Heads up. <laughs> okay. It's a decoy flapper. Good. I feel less bad now. There's Get the fuck down! <laughs> he turned and started limping away. No, damn it! I'm gonna continue. Hold on, we gotta get some kills in for Danny again. Danny, we got some work to do, man. We'll have flappers here for you. Tremendous. I <laughs> literally just shot it once. What a dick. Well done. Nah, yeah, you did. You got him. Well done. All right. Managed to kill three incapacitated eight enemies. One dude leveled. That better have been Danny. Ooh, that was a bit of a long one, wasn't it? Yikes. Took, like, all of our stuff. And a Rhino Man leveled, in fact. Annoyingly, but okay. It's fine. I guess I'm okay with that. Let's go... Intelligence good. That alien skill getting up there. That's nice. Just general chance to hit and all that. Very nice. So the... Yeah, the planter there. Um, can we intercept that straight away with the base we just got? And one of our pilots is stranded here. You're to go there and bring him back. Now there should be... Team limit only six because the pilot's going to be one. There should be an observer coming by at some point to take a look. So if you want to try to wait for that, we could. Ooh, incendiary grenades. Mmm, dangerous. Unknowingly, if you've got a grenadier and you've got a bunch of frag grenades being thrown and you run out of frag grenades, they will just go ahead and equip the next grenade in line. Even if that's incendiary grenade. And incendiary grenades... Uh, well, they leave a bunch of fire there, and you don't necessarily want to have fire where you're throwing things. So sometimes it gets a bit dicey. But I'm still happy to have that. We got a second RPG now, so Team Rocket can be in full effect. We got FN Fowls, a bunch of ammo for that. Handgun, some HKMP5s. Oh. And also proper armor. That was a good base to have done. Combat armor and a fancy combat helmet thing. Combat helmet, just a direct upgrade. 10% more soft, 5% more universal, 5% hard damage. Does weigh twice as much. 
Well, we got one of them. And combat armor, also significant upgrade. Significant white upgrade as well. 10 kilograms up from 5. But 20 more soft, 15 more universal, 10 hard, 20 burn, 20 laser, 10 plasma, and uh, only 35 warp. But that's good. That is a good, good thing to have gotten. About fucking time. We can't research it or anything like that. It just is what it is. Okay, and we've arrived. Danny is in recovery for two days, three hours. But Valandir can step in. Replace you for a bit. Give them a bit of experience. And then training wise, ooh, psionic. Hmm. Your training's wrapped up basically. Psionic. Um might do that in a minute. I think I want to go for this dude rescue. First, I guess first, man, there's so much stuff to do. High urgency on these, though. Hmm. 